So on this channel, we've covered OpenAI's deep research many different times, as well as talking about different alternatives. The reason being is because OpenAI's deep research, as well as some other tools like Sora, OpenAI's operator are behind a $200 per month paywall. And of course, not everyone can afford that, nor does everyone just want to pay that. Now, like I mentioned, one of the other features is OpenAI's operator. And if you're not familiar with operator, it is essentially a research preview of an agent that can now use its own browser to perform tasks for you. But just like how a lot of open source alternatives and different free versions of deep research have been coming out to combat OpenAI's operator. And also just like how DeepSeek R1 released the open source reasoning model, and then it really pushed OpenAI to release O3 Mini, there is a new kit on the block called Convergence. And it really goes to show that the cost of intelligence is really just plummeting right now. And Convergence just released their new tool called Proxy. Proxy is your AI assistant for daily tasks. It's a complete alternative to something like OpenAI's alternative. And here's the catch. It is for free. So with Proxy, you can actually do five sessions every day, two parallel sessions, one automation. And then if you really love Proxy, you can upgrade to the Pro tier for just $20 per month, which is the price of OpenAI's ChatGPT Plus subscription, not Pro. So literally a one-tenth of what you're getting with Operator. Now in today's video, we're gonna take a look at Proxy, show you how you can get started with it and run some tests between Proxy and OpenAI's operator and see who is the better AI browsing agent. Let's dive right into it. Okay, so before I dive into it, I'm just gonna read some tweets here. So Europe is back in the AI race. Last week, London-based Convergence AI turned heads by crushing OpenAI's operator. Today, they're back with something even bigger, Proxy 1.0, one of the most powerful web-based AI agents out there. So apparently, people are saying that it is supposed to be faster. We'll see in when we do some tests here. Another thing to note is that Proxy is available worldwide, and Operator at the moment is only available to the US region. So if you're going to use it, you're going to need a, a VPN, which I'm on right now. So this is cool. After each task you run, you can automate updates anytime, running them as often as you like to create your own agent. You can essentially schedule like cron jobs, kind of like tasks and open AI. They pulled this off with 24 employees and $12 million in funding, which is 0.067% of OpenAI's funding. So here we can see convergence on the Web Voyager benchmark, and we can see that it is at 88% when OpenAI's operator scored as 87%. There's also Agent E, which we've covered on this channel a while ago, which scored a 73%. This is a really good one that we've used. I really like this one. It's very high quality. So I'm very excited to try Convergence if it is, you know, seeing that it is the top on the benchmarks here. And I'll leave this blog post as well as everything that I covered already in today's video in the description down below. So you can check out those links. But let's go ahead and check out Convergence Proxy. So when you go to Convergence.ai here, you look at their pricing here. Like I said, there is the free plan, which is very generous with five sessions per day up to five parallel sessions and one automation and then if you want more you can go unlimited sessions up to 20 parallel sessions and then 20 automations or 20 bucks a month um if it's as good as everyone says it is then this is definitely a steal and i you know i may have to actually purchase this but we'll see with these tests here so you're going to want to make an account here and then once you do we're logged in it's like a very similar interface to really any uh, AI tool like ChatGPT or whatnot. Let's go ahead toggle on dark mode here. On the left, you can see your chat history and all that good stuff. And then over here, we can see where we're going to make our prompt. So they have a few templates right here. So we have business, company sentiment analysis, review my Shopify store, marketing, research, news, sales, DevOps, other, etc. And this is actually really cool. I actually like this. There's a template marketplace right here. So welcome to the marketplace your own template so this is actually very very cool i like this um because we can see now we have access to a plethora of different templates that other people made you can make these as well so let's say i wanted to do what's trending on x we can simply click this what's trending on x created by convergence right here so the prompt extract the top number of hashtags to explore trending hashtags from x or twitter for each hashtag collect sample of recent tweets to capture the current conversation that's step two and then step three produce a summary of reports on what is currently trending and then you can see the template variables right here that we're going to fill in is the number of hashtags so i'm going to say the top ai trending hashtags right here and we're going to go ahead and run this task now you can see that it has started running you'll see we have this nice interface here with our ongoing tasks our completed tasks over here we can see it is starting 
it's pulling up X right here in the proxy view. So now it's saying I need to log into X to access trending hashtags. So it's giving us this pop up here to sign in. So we're going to go ahead and sign in with Google. Now it's saying credentials were requested. Now it's asking us what our email is. Okay, so I just submitted that. And now it's asking us for our password. Okay, it's asking me to confirm on my phone right now. Okay, so now it's asking me to verify my X account here. Okay, so looks like we are in my X here. Okay, so it looks like proxy just encountered an error here saying please start a new session okay i'm gonna try this one more time here we created a new session now while this is going i'm gonna use this same prompt and opening eyes operator right here we can see right now it's going to twitter right here okay so now i'm gonna log in okay so now i'm logged in with operator here so while that's going on i'm gonna go check on convergence again Okay, and boom, looks like it did its job correct this time. I think maybe it glitched out last time, maybe just because the human in the loop or whatnot. But we can see here the steps, compile report, explore AI tweets, explore AI tweets. So it explored a lot, explore AI hashtags. And then we can see our summary. So trending AI topics on X. After examining the trending AI related hashtags on X, here are a few key findings. So Grok 3, we can see features include deep search, blah, 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 discussion points. We have Google AI co-scientist. We have applications of Evo 2 in biotech. And we have ethics of synthetic genomes. But yeah, there's been some crazy uh, AI news lately. Now, the cool thing is now that the task is complete, we could share the session. We could automate this task or can create a template. So we could create a template like we saw in the template library. We could automate this task. So if I click this, welcome to automation, choose your start time, set your schedule, stay informed. Let's say we wanted to change this to AI news and we wanted to do this every morning at 8 a.m. So you can make this daily, weekly, monthly. Let me select our time zone here and then you could create this automation and boom, we created this automation. So every single day, it would give me a morning report of what is trending for AI on X. So with operator, I actually forgot to let it know that I logged in with convergence. It kind of just picks up on that. So I just let operator know that, and now it should be good to go with the task. We can see here it's searching AI right here. You can see it's refining search for AI trends. So using the search bar, it's searching different things right now. We can just watch it scroll right now, which is really cool. OpenAI's operator has been doing a lot of different searching and whatnot. It's cool that you can click on this and it does show you where you know it was clicking and what it was doing in the history so i do really like this feature and it is taking a lot longer i would say you know i can't say exactly i would say the convergence um session right here maybe took like four minutes you know three four five minutes max um open ai's has probably been about five minutes already now and we're still not done okay so open ai seemed to do a lot more research but it actually got a worse output and i don't know if this is a one-off case we'll do another test in a second but as you can see here i said produce a summary report on what is currently trending all open ai's did is just give me a top trending hashtags on x so ai right here to and then briefly highlighted what that's about unitree agi embodied intelligence and then ai healthcare so in terms of the researching it definitely took longer i'd say maybe at least a few minutes longer and it actually gave a much worse output. I'm gonna say I asked for a summary report. Okay, and at least it gave a bit more of a report here. So it's saying, sorry for the confusion, here's a report. And giving some, a little bit longer summaries here of those AI um, hashtags. But all in all for this first search, I would definitely give the win to Convergence. I actually thought OpenAI's, just by judging how long it was taking, was gonna take the win, but it definitely did not. Okay, so this is a two-stage task right here. So we're going to say go to executivestrad.com, which is our website, analyze the website, and provide me an in-depth report on the targeted customer avatar and different marketing ideas. Then go to x.com, go to x.com forward slash Elon Musk, scroll through at least 10 recent posts. If some posts have done particularly well, maybe deep dive into by clicking on the post and reading more in-depth stuff just click on the post note key engagement numbers like likes comments shares for each post summarize overall engagement trends maybe make a suggestion on what seems to work well and what doesn't okay so we're gonna go ahead and send this now one thing i will note too is you see that there is a scratch pad right here so from what i can tell this seems like it's just like a overall context 
you can write information here that that is always helpful for proxy across sessions so you can add this in and then and it will be context across multiple sessions so if you want to prompt proxy to give you specific outputs like always make it very in-depth or you know always do such and such then you can do that in the scratch pad which is nice okay so now we're starting this new session here while we're doing this i'm going to start a new session in operator as well okay so i'm pasting this in clicking send i'm actually starting my clock right here so i'm timing the convergence one and i pretty much started operator a couple seconds after okay so convergence is on our website executivestride.com and it's analyzing it at the moment looks like operator is actually having some issues i just saw it try to go there and it was having some issues but I actually had a google okay that's weird. I don't know if that's something to do with our website or if that's something to do with operator. I have a Google Chrome tab right here open. If I go to executivestride.com, everything works fine for me. So I don't know what is going on there. I'm going to say try again. If not working, just skip that step. Okay, so convergence is still going. Right now it's saying failed to load image. So no big deal. Hopefully everything's going well here. Okay, so it looks like operators just skipping that step in general. So unfortunately it wasn't working. Okay, so it, convergence was kind of glitching out there, but I just refreshed it and now it's looking like it's good to go. It's doing its work right here. So I'm very um, pleased to see that. Now operator, funny enough, finished a lot quicker this time. Um, three minutes so we can see all the different history right here. But we got literally just a paragraph. Elon Musk's engagement on X varies wildly with likes ranging from hundreds to tens of thousands. All right, you can see it's very, very basic here. Humor and Tesla related content also perform well. Less engaging posts typically involve less controversial topics, balancing current events, humor and Tesla updates seems effective. So definitely not the output that I was looking for. Okay, and here is convergence output. So first off, we have our executive stride analysis here, and then we have our Elon Musk engagement analysis here. And this one's, I like how it's formatted better. It just looks a lot more put together like an actual report. Um, so we can see target customer avatar right here. So executive stride is designed for business aiming to enhance their lead generation and client acquisition process through AI technology. Key features such as 24 seven AI agents and precision driven strategies appeal to blah, 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 blah. I think you get the point. Marketing ideas, AI precision, customer testimonials, video content, cost efficiency, and then Elon Musk X profile analysis this is what we can actually compare to operators. The posts related to major projects like Starlink and Cybertruck consistently receive high engagement, often exceeding thousands of likes, reposts, and views. Visual content such as images or videos enhances engagement. Technological updates and innovations attract significant attention and interactions. Content strategy suggestions focus on major project updates and innovations to maintain high engagement levels. Utilize visual content to capture audience interest and continue highlighting groundbreaking technologies to leverage Elon Musk's influence and audience interest. So pretty good stuff. Honestly, I would probably like, you know, this could just be a couple one-off situations and cases. You know, if you do maybe 10 of these, some op operator may win, some convergence may win. But I would say both of these for sure. I would give the win 100% to convergence. I like the output better. Um, I like just how it worked better. Now for this one convergence i don't know if it was lagging or not and it did do an extra step but it did take maybe about eight minutes so definitely a bit longer there but i can say i'm extremely impressed i am currently on the free plan guys so you can really try this out for yourselves 100 percent for free i think it's really cool how you can set up tasks and automations to run like cron jobs and you could do some very advanced stuff with this if you get you know creative you could get it to respond to your dms you could get it to even create different pieces of content for you. I think the possibilities are really endless and this is just a preview of to what is coming. And like I said, this is a smaller company than OpenAI and this is kind of like the deep seek effect where intelligence and all this next level stuff is going to zero. So it's pretty crazy to see and it's only gonna get crazier. If you're new to the channel and you like this type of content around AI, AI agents, AI coding, that's what we upload on here. So make sure to like the video, comment down below, letting me know your thoughts and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. Also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free Facebook group and Discord channel, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below. And then you're definitely gonna wanna check out our Stride AI Academy for behind the scenes resources, templates, tools, and trainings, and more. And then also too, guys, if you run a business and you need help implementing AI agents like AI appointment setters, AI cold callers, AI custom growth solutions, the book will call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not. And then also too, guys, if you're an entrepreneur, dev, founder, AI agency owner, whatever the case is, and you want to actually sell these same solutions to other businesses and you want our exact protocol on how to do this for 2 to 10K plus, book a call down below and we can see if we can help you on that as well. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.
Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents.